need to look at the visitor's log. And I caught the name of the guy coming to visit Vincent. Joseph Glynn. Doesn't ring a bell. Look, I talked to my mom earlier. She ran down another lead on Sierra. No, it was just another dead end. And maybe this one is too, Sean, but my gut is telling me different. I truly believe that Sierra's alive. And you don't believe me, do you? No, no Ben, I want to, I want to believe you. It's just that we just keep coming up empty handed. She called me, Sean. She called me on the phone. I only heard her voice for a second or two, but she said she loved me, and I know it was her. So even if there's a, a, a one in a million chance that she's out there, Joseph Glenn. All right, look, I'll run his name through the system. If he's got a record, we'll find him. Should I tell you who I work for? Fine. I'll just figure it out on my own. So you were at the prison, right? So it must have happened there. Wait. Is it Eve Donovan? I know that she's worked for Vincent before. They're cold. They're cold. Just like your group. Okay, then who is it? Rhodes, who on earth even knows that I'm still alive? All right, so take a few minutes to run his name through the database. Oh, oh this is DA. Listen, you know what? Hold on, I gotta take this, okay? Hold on. You know what? I don't need you to admit what you did. I don't need you to admit that you killed my grandmother because I already know it. And so does God. Do not bring God into this. Your grandmother played God with my entire life because she felt guilty about jumping into bed with our dear old dad. And then, of course, well, you found out about it and then you forgave her, didn't you? Of course. Well, it was a long time ago, Gwen. Mm. Yeah, well, my heart was in the right place. She was just protecting her family. And not here to defend what she did. Yes, but you are. And you always do, and you always have an excuse for her. Well, what about me? What about you? Can you not find it in your cold little heart to care just a bit about my life? About how I was brought up in poverty. About how I went to bed hungry every night. And God, if I dared complain, I'd get the belt. If it's true, then I am sorry. If it's true. Well, you lie about everything else. <sighs> yeah, well, I wish I was lying about this one. It's too late for stories anyway. You won't even admit that your grandmother's wrong. I'm not going to sit here and say that my grandmother was a perfect person. But I loved her, and you don't know everything that was going on back then. The woman had just spent years in a mental institution. Oh, she is not the victim. She is dead. And she may have played God with your life, but you don't get to play judge, jury, and executioner with hers. And I'm going to make sure of that. Oh, this is going well. Yeah. So I just got off the phone with the DA. Have the two of you press charges against each other, and I book you both, or come to a mutual agreement and you drop this matter. And I gotta warn you, we only have one holding cell. No, no, I cannot be stuck one more minute with her here. Please get me out of here. Thank you. Yeah, me too. Great. Thank you. I will send in a uniform to take care of your paperwork. Oh, we got a match. Oh, we got a match.